Hey, what's going on YouTube? RG here. Hey, I'm out here. Just got my camper out of the backyard. We're going to try and get, a, get it all cleaned up for a camping trip. I thought I'd show y'all a few design flaws and problems if y'all want to build your own camper. All right, I'd say the number one issue is do your engineering correctly. <laughs> all your measurements. Think about what you're doing ahead of time. This is a 4 by 8 trailer from Harbor Freight. So I just slapped a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood for a floor. As you notice, there's no overhang. No overhang at all. So any water that runs down goes right into this plywood. And at the time, I knew it was an issue, but I was in a hurry and just wanted to get it done and built. And I figured when I finished it, I came back and I put caulk all in there, rubbed caulk all in it, and tried to seal up the seams and... Yeah, that lasted about a year before it all started just peeling out and um, got water damage. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see it, but all that's from seeping through that board underneath because I didn't have an overhang on it. So I'd say the number one issue would, when you're building this thing, make sure it's overhang and um, so the water don't drip you know soak straight in some kind of flashing under it would also probably be a good idea and you can see it's not as bad on the edges there's none over here on this edge and that's because I knew it was gonna be a problem so I put these boards on the outside and then I cocked the top of them this side stopped pretty much all of it but you can see the caulking setting out in the weather for three years it it's come loose so water's getting down in there now and on this side it was really bad the board bowed out so water was getting down on this side over here and there's a little bit of damage up along the edge and there's nothing right here until you get up into this corner and there's some seepage because I couldn't put a because of my door design I couldn't put a piece of wood across here that brings me on to the door I did a homemade door it's working out perfectly fine it hadn't warped or anything I used regular three quarter inch plywood that I cut from the wall painted it it don't have the uh, poor man's fiberglass As you can see, it, it fits fine. There's no issues with leaking around it at all. We've actually been in some pretty bad rainstorms and no water splashed or came through. Um, I guess my next tip would be, probably my number one tip, would be to build this thing five foot wide, if not six foot wide. At four foot wide, you better really like the person you're in here with. It just isn't enough room for two uh, healthy adults, two healthy size adults, I would say. But um, there would be another uh, tip for building one. I tried to save money and just do something easy, the four by eight, so everything's simple. And I realized the first camping trip, I wish I'd have went five wide or six wide. The length I'm not too worried about. The eight foot long is good. That's fine with me, but it needs to be wider. All right, they see. They see I'm not having no issues. There's no leaking around it. I built it just like a, uh, you know, the home, the hole in the side of a house you'd put one in. So there's no leak issue. I did have a cover and I lost it don't even know where it went so i just had some uh cellophane wrapped around it try to keep water from and bugs out but that did no good what we created in the backyard is a perfect habitat for spiders when i opened the thing up and picked up the mattress it was a perfect spider habitat with hundreds of spiders underneath the mattress all kind of other bugs i had no idea what they were but we made it just a perfect dark cave for insects so that's why it's 
all yanked out today we're <laughs> cleaning up now, another thing i've got about 3,000 miles on the harbor freight trailer now, i don't know if you can see it but the tongue is just ever so slightly bowed up now you could probably remedy that with a piece of large piece of square tube and run it down weld it to the trailer frame but um not too happy with that because the trailer is only coming in i think i put about 700 pounds worth of stuff on it i counted every piece weighed every piece i put on it it was somewhere around 700 pounds worth of wood so this is a what the 1699 or 1700 pound trailer whatever it is i wouldn't think the tongue would be bending like that Besides that, the trailer's held together fine. When I bought it new, I repacked the bearings straight out of the box. Um, like I said, I've got 3,000-ish miles on it and super hot 100-degree weather pulling it. With no issues so far. I guess another tip I would have is to consider where you put the door. I didn't think about that either too hard as you can see i got a really wide door it's it's a few inches wider than one of the store-bought doors but the problem with that or with my design is the door so far flow forward once you sit down to get in the camper you lift your legs up and put them in then you gotta do the caterpillar scoop down to get into position to sleep if I'd have moved the window back further, moved the door back, it would have been a whole lot easier to get in and out of. So be mindful where you put the door. And of course that's gonna have to play into where uh, where your wheel fenders and stuff are too. So, But I'd say put it back as close to the center as you can get it, just for ease of climbing in and out. So anyway, that's just a few tips on building a teardrop that I came up with after having one for three years. Um, the poor man fiberglass holding up great. No issues as far as it leaking. Now, I got it parked underneath the pecan tree, so it stained a little bit on top. But uh, besides that, it scrubs, most of it scrubs right off. And I'd say maybe stay tuned because in the future, this is going to get tore down. There's going to be another one built or something's going to get built. Anyway, y'all come back. Check out what I got going on in the future. There's going to be another camper build sometime soon, hopefully. And until then, we'll see y'all down the road.